Hi and welcome to Cooked with Clara! On this episode today, we are making a beautiful sesame crusted tuna with a light and crunchy and aromatic Asian style salad. To start with the salad, I'm using lettuce, sprouts, some herbs, basil and coriander, spring onions, cucumber shavings, avo. And with it, I'm going to make a light dressing with some ginger chili, lime, soya sauce, fish sauce kind of thing. And then right at the end, I'm going to uh, crust the tuna with sesame seeds and that's it. Simple as that. The salad I'm going to make first because the tuna goes so quick and it's only seared. So I want to have that still hot and serve it straight away with the salad. So that's always a great way of learning how to cook. What takes the longest, what takes the shortest, whatever takes the longest you obviously start with. So we're going to start with the longest being the salad, even though it's super short. Ha! Who would have thought? Right. Lettuce leaves. You can use anything here. I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to use some basil leaves, coriander. Tear that in. The whole point of this being a quick salad. Sprouts. There we go. Cucumber shavings. Always take the skin off first, but I'm not using the inside because once the seeds hit any form of salt, they start to weep and then your salad will become watery. Take this, put it on the side and put it either in the lunchbox or, I don't know, nibble on it when you're sitting in front of the television you should be eating cookies. Don't have the cookies, have the cucumber! It's good. And avo. I'm adding avo because I'm an absolute tuna, tuna, Sesame and avo junkie, that combination for me is just, it's just it. It's a winner every single time. Also, if you, you've got a bit of brown avo here, don't be sad. Don't be, don't be nasty. Just use it. It's fine. I'm using the whole part of the spring onion. It's beautifully fresh. Remember, the green part is less oniony than the bottom white part. That's the salad. That's literally what the salad is. And now I'm going to wash my hands so I can make the dressing. For the dressing, super quick, super simple. Very nice, pestle and water, bit of ginger, slice it down, little bit of chili, lime juice, and now I'm gonna bash this together. Great, smell, amazing. Woo. Burny, burny, burny in the nose. Soy sauce, three tablespoons, two, three little dollops of toasted sesame seed oil, two or three squirts of nampla, uh, uh, fish sauce, lemon juice we've got in, and that should be it really. That's your dressing. Oh, sweetie, that's divine. I'm gonna put it on the side. As Soon as I add dressing to anything that is leafy, like cucumbers, lettuce, um, the fresh herbs that are here, they go pop, so they go pfft within like a couple of seconds. So right at the end, I'm gonna add the dressing, toss it for a couple of seconds and that'll be it. And now for the tuna. I bought this tuna on a cracking deal about two weeks ago. Had the first half, put the rest in the freezer. Um, once you've taken it out of the freezer, it changes color. Normally it's pink, after it's been in the freezer, it's turned this color. That's all you need to know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is season this tuna first. So salt on all sides. Next step is to crust it in the sesame seeds. I've toasted these already. See there? Immediately sticks. Super easy. Okay, beautiful. Yeah! To sear tuna, you need a smoking hot pan. I'm gonna add coconut oil. Um, it has very high smoking points, so don't use olive oil, please. It will burn, it'll just be a complete disaster. And searing means you put it in the pan, it goes and then you turn it around and go and you turn around again, it goes and on the other side, and so you have a beautiful outside, like, well, this will all be white-ish and brown, and the inside will be beautifully pink. The pan is hot, so I'm gonna add my coconut oil. There we go. And in with the tuna. Nice and spaced out. If you crowd the pan, they're gonna start steaming, and you're gonna have really gross overcooked tuna. You can actually see it cooking. You can see the little white line changing at the bottom. Tuna cooks very quickly. So you want a bit more color than that. You can see that's not brown enough. Put it back down. Now we're going to turn the tuna. 
Wow, look at that, it's beautiful. I'm going to turn it now again onto the remaining side. Okay, that's it. But that was like three minutes. Okay, very excited, very excited, very excited. Dressing. Okay, and a bit of dressing on the... That is fantastico. And now for my favorite part, the testing. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right. Perfectly sealed on the outside. Mm. This is incredibly delicious. The tuna that is crispy from the outside, but it's incredibly juicy inside, mixed with the cold salad and the crunchy cold salad and the chili and the salt. And this comes together beautifully. I think that if you would make this, someone will fall in love with you. Thank you for watching the show today and taking part in cooking the most beautiful tuna with a light crispy Asian salad. Please subscribe to our channel down below. Share the video with anyone who thinks is worthy of having such a beautiful recipe in their knowledge. And make sure to visit cookwithclaro.com so that you can see the recipe and download it there. Ciao, bye bye! Hi! <laughs> so to begin with, not so, not so, what so, so, so fucking what? Okay. Okay.